Today, we're going to learn how to do stuff like this. Okay, so this tutorial is gonna be a little bit different. I won't explain how things work. I'm just going to guide you on how to install this deep fake-ish new model called Live Portrait that allows you to manipulate faces in pictures or video with your own video. Um, people have had a hard time, including myself, installing this with CUDA 12 uh, versions. And so I'll be focusing on how to install uh, make this work with CUDA 12.x. Uh, before I continue though, I think it's important to mention that this type of technology, it's, it's really cool, but it's also really dangerous. As Uncle Ben said, with great power comes great responsibility. Uh, this is a dangerous tool as much as it, as it is fun. And uh, we should not take that lightly. Um, anyways, uh, let's get started. Enjoy. Okay, so today we're going to learn how to install this with CUDA uh, 12.1 uh, and it's probably going to work with other versions of CUDA. This is a fix because uh, I think this was optimized mostly for 11.8, uh, CUDA 11 really. Honestly, the easiest, easiest way to install Live Portrait is through their one-click installer. So you click on that uh, and then you can just click that download button. Uh, then there's going to be a zip file and then you just unzip it and then you uh, double click on one of those bat files and then you're good to go. Um, but if you're a hacker, you want to do it like me and uh, go through the more frustrating way, which is what we're about to do. So you're going to need Visual Studio. Uh, I have a bunch of them. Uh, I think in the code, uh, I have in the paths uh, 2022 and what you need to make sure that you have is the desktop uh, developer thing with C++. So you install that. I've already installed it, so I'm good to go. Um, but some people recommend to going to older visual versions of Visual Studio like 2019. So you can go here and uh, download the build tools. And then again, you select the desktop option and install. And then you're good to go. You're going to need, uh, and you're going to need NVIDIA's uh, CUDA Deep Neural Network Library and uh, you can just navigate to their page. Um, but what you're really going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the releases page to find an older version. Once you go into the archive, look for the even older ones, and then you make sure that you click on one that has the compatibility for the CUDA that you have. So I used 8.8.1 uh, uh, to do is install. Uh, and then when you install, you're going to get to the zip file, and in that zip file there's going to be some folders. And so what you need to do is you need to transfer those folders into your NVIDIA uh, folder in your program files. As you can see, I've, I've I tried a bunch because I was experimenting. Um, but yeah, so the idea is you just create a new folder and then you type out the version. And then all you have to do is literally just drag and drop those files. You're also going to need uh, Git LFS. Uh, you can download it by just going to gitlfs.com and uh, you'll also need Python. I'm using Python 3.10.11, which you can also download from the Python releases page. An important item that you have to make sure you have completed is uh, setting up your environment variables. So you just 
search for environment variables. And then you select path, you hit edit. And then you make sure that you have the deep neural network library um, pointed towards the bin. And that's literally the uh, CUDA, uh, CUDA and then, and then you go to your version and then you um, make sure that the path is set to the bin. Then you also want to make sure that you have you, your path pointing to your CUDA as well. And I have a bunch of extra stuff here because I was experimenting with other things because uh, sometimes code doesn't work. So uh, you can just feel free to just copy and, and paste the, the paths that I have. What we're going to do is we're going to go into a CMD and we're going to switch to a projects folder. And here we're going to make a new director. We're going to call it our portrait tutorial. Uh, we'll get a CD into it. Uh, while we're here, we're going to create a new environment. We're going to look at the ones we have. I'm going to use 3.10. Um, and as I mentioned before, uh, you can get this from going into uh, the Python downloads windows and finding uh, 3.10 point environment, which is the one that I have. Uh, then we're creating a new environment by dash M, V and V, and then we're going to call this environment LP310. And what we're going to do then is we're going to activate it. So we're going to have oh, scripts and then activate. And then now we're here. And Life Portrait allows you to model both humans and also animals. Um, the animals requires uh, an extra installation and uh, it's used by Expose. To install this, they actually included the, the, the build in their uh, dependencies in, in the actual repo. But I have found that installing it from here has been a little bit difficult uh, and it's, I've had issues with it. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna install it from um, the original source. So we're gonna get clone this and we're gonna see here, we now have it here. So we're gonna CD into it and then we're gonna CD into the models folder and then into the ops folder. And then here you'll see that there's a set of pi. And I'm gonna run it right now, but it's not gonna work because we need uh, PyTorch, as you can see here. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna install PyTorch. And to do that, uh, we just go into the, the uh, PyTorch, get started locally. And then what you do is you select the, um, uh, the parameters that are relevant to you. I have 12.1, so we're gonna install that. So all we can do is just copy and paste this. So we're gonna copy and paste that right there. And we're gonna wait for that to install. Okay, um, and so now, uh, now that we have Torch installed and we can verify this by going into pip lists and we have it there. So now we can actually go into um, setup.py and then we can build this. Okay, what we want to see is that we have this finished generating code component there. And then now we can install it and do the pip install dot. Okay, great. And now we can verify that we have it by going into here and then we say it right there. And then there's a little uh, uh, test.py here that if that allows us to check whether this was installed properly and it was. Okay, so we control C to exit out of that. Then we're going to do CLS to clear and create this, make this a little clean. We can CD back into the folder and now we can uh, git clone um, this. Oh, oops. Ah! There we go, git clone. So now we can CD into live portrait. As you can see, just to verify, now there's three folders. There's our environment, what we just cloned, and uh, the original repo um, that we're going to need for the animal models. So now we see, uh, CD into live portrait. And you're going to see here that there's a requirements text file. Uh, we're going to want to uh, install the dependencies from there. So to do that, we do pip install, and we do dash r for uh, looking for a requirements text file, and then we install. Okay, great. Um, so important to note is that, again, if you go in here, there's a, a pre-trained weights folder. So clicking on here, pre-trained weights, it's empty. So we need to populate that. So what we're gonna do is um, important, as always, uh, make sure you have Git LFS installed. We need this to install big models from Hugging Face. So we go into the live portrait Hugging Face that they have here, and then we just copy this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, just cause I, I like to work this way, I just like to have things a little bit separate and then move them myself. Um, move, move them myself. So we're gonna make a new director, we're gonna call it models. We're gonna CD into that, uh, oops, models. 
And then we're going to git clone over here. And then what you'll notice is that in this, we're going to see the set of models being populated. So let's wait until that's completed. Okay, great. So now these models are completed. You can see here. And what we need is we need to move these into the folder. So uh, we're back here at the live portrait tutorial directory. We're going to go into live portrait. We're going to go to pre-train weights. And then we're just going to copy and paste these guys and pass them along. And that's it. We're going to exit here. Um, and then now we we'll go back to live portraits. Everything's looking good. Basically, what we're going to try to do now is we're going to run Py inference, but you're going to see that there's going to be an error. And this is happening with CUDA uh, versions um, and oh, wrong. I'm in the wrong folder. We need live portraits, and then we're going to go and run Py inference, and you're going to see that it's not going to work. And the issue here is an ONX uh, runtime dependency issue, I think. And uh, if we look at the pip list and the dependencies here, and then we go into ONX runtime, we'll see it's 1.18.0. Uh, uh, and we want to update that. So uh, to update that, we just need to uh, force reinstall. And we can just use this command. So here we're doing pip install, but we're uh, doing a force reinstall. Uh, on this, which means it'll grab the, the newest version. So we do that. Great. And so now we'll see that it has been updated. We go to on next install, I mean, on next run GPU, and it's a newer version. So uh, now by inference.py will work. And we're going to see a new folder here created called animations. Then we click on here, and then we see that it's working. Wonderful. Okay, so what about the animals, right? Uh, can we do animal models? Uh, and over here in the original GitHub, they have uh, an example script. Let's just copy and paste that and see if the animal models, animal model works, and it will. And Let's take a look here. This should be populated soon. Great. Dope. Okay, so you might wonder, okay, I don't want to run arguments and commands uh, in the terminal uh, to run this. So you'd like a GUI. So they do have, oh, whoops. They do have a GUI here, uh, a radio app, and we can run it. But it's not going to work. <laughs> uh, and I'll explain why in a second. So. It looks like it's going to work, but it's not. So what happens sometimes is that when we have a bunch of these dependencies, um, oops, can't answer that right now. Um, we have a bunch of, so here we're going to get this error and then it's going to be perpetuated up here too. And uh, what happens sometimes is that dependencies, when we uh, install them, uh, sometimes they install newer versions and then they're not uh, backwards compatible. So the uh, culprit here is actually fast API right here. So what we're going to do is that we're going to uh, force reinstall an older version of fast API. And the version that we're going to use is this one. So we're going to do pip install, force reinstall, and then we're going to do fast API and we're going to do the 0.112.2. I found that one to work. Uh, and I'm sure older versions will work too, but use that one to be safe. And so now, when we run find that app, it should work. So now we just refresh this page, and now it's working. Let's animate. Great. And we can choose different 
drivers. Let's choose this and let's animate that. Great. Fantastic. So, um, there's also a separate radio app for the animal models. And, uh, for that, they call it the, um, app underscore animals. So let's make sure that's working. And so now we just refresh this and we can pick an animal here, maybe this cat, and then we can do a little winky or, um, maybe shake face. And then we animate. And now it's animated. Look at that. That's great. Cool. Um, now we have a uh, live portrait working uh, with CUDA 12.1. And uh, yeah, now you can uh, have fun and play.